Hello everyone, welcome back to Slovenia and to Pernice and of course to the hill here, the normal hill, the uh, fairly modern hill by uh, Pernice's standards and we are getting ready for the men to get underway in the uh, Nordic combined. We have the ski jumping first of course, not great conditions, it is a bit windy, we are hoping that we can get through this without too many worries. Uh, everyone wrapped up warm. Our team have done a magnificent job in uh, not just the ski jumping but also in the Nordic combined uh, around the hill. Uh, judges Finland, Slovenia, Italy, Kazakhstan, and Sweden is where they come from. A very important job for them, of course, as well. We talked about when the women were coming down at this uh, historic hill first. Uh, Ski jumping action around 1930, but this is a, a newer hill. And this is our start list. And uh, Aliaska will be getting us underway. But uh, keep an eye out for the likes of Tristan Summerfield, who jumped so well in the team competition. He will go last up although I didn't have a great trial round if truth be told but everyone's got an opportunity here they were coming off of gate number 17 we'll see whether that continues to be the case and we have 56 uh, sorry 52 just counted 52 uh, athletes there you go the last one being Tristan Sommerfeld, and we'll see how the German goes. Germany, of course, the gold in the team, the mixed team competition. We do still have uh, team competitions for the men and women on Saturday and Sunday, so I hope you can uh, join us for that. A few more trial jumpers coming down. The umbrellas are up. The umbrellas are up, it's not very nice. It's gonna be difficult in the cross country section. We'll see how we go. We're about to get underway. In this uh, competition and it is uh, Ali Askar who gets us underway. The man from Kazakhstan. And towards the bottom of the uh, provisional round has been uh, on the Continental Cup circuit at Lillehammer. Again, not inside the top 50. And uh, also some experience at the University said uh, And he got himself down. I think it's the best thing you can say. He was a little bit tentative there. 18 year old gets down and uh, well we'll be first for a while but not for too long 75 meters 13s and 13 and a half from the judges there was a lot of movement wasn't there in flight Luke Balland is next up the uh, man from the Morbier de la Fontaine club just celebrated his birthday his uh, 18th birthday three days ago and what can he do here 16th in the youth olympic winter games you can hear the rain hammering down as he makes his way down the slope not 
Not too bad at all. 80 metres for him. Into first place by quite some distance he goes, but there he knows it's not good enough. You're going to have to be jumping a good distance. Laurel Personal Sureshni. Here from the uh, announcer, he's a local man, Slovenia. Sagorje Club. He will turn 16 until November. And he has uh, jumped well there, 84 and a half metres. Inside the top 30 after the provisional round was done. And Dusty got the silver at the Youth Olympic Winter Games in the team competition. Here's a man who was second after the uh, provisional round. Nozaki, who jumped really well, 95 metres in the provisional round. And that's another decent jump, not quite as much as his practice jump, but 90 and a half metres puts uh, more than a minute between him and the rest. Man from Chill University, I think felt he could have done better. Getting a lot of wind compensation at the moment on their backs. So not getting the lift you might do if it was to the front. Sean Steinbackers is next. A little bit short of where he would like to have been. 80 metres dead for him. Exactly what he managed in the... Uh, trial round in uh, a few Elfram Cups this season best result of 20th Eros Consolati will we love his jump Some good lift off the table, but uh, not very good distance. The man from the Dolomitica Club, 77 metres into fourth place. He goes. He was 35th in the trial round, so yeah. The best. And uh, is next up the man from here in Slovenia. Oh, he's gone pretty long, drifted away to his right, but 85 and a half meters. That's not bad. Puts him into second place. He's not happy with it, you can tell by the way he's trudging off. Czech Republic, Radim Sudek is next. From the Dukla Livret Club. He's been on the Continental Cup circuit, learning the ropes. And that's a solid jump for sure. 80 metres. And I'll get him amongst uh, the leaders as it stands at the moment. But of course, we've got a long way to go. 52 are lined up. Next up is uh, Fumito Kainuma. And inside the top 20 in this uh, trial round. 19 year old, just squeaking in. He'll be 20 in just over a week's time much on the uh, CV. Eighty-four metres for uh, the Japanese athlete. I think he'd be looking, certainly, to 
to be in the top 20. He was uh, tenth in an FIS competition in Sapporo uh, last year. Ostilov Kirashuk of Ukraine. He's our next athlete up. Okay. Just over the 80 meter mark for the uh, 16 year old. That's enough for fourth place at the moment. Of course, it means that he is uh, over a minute behind Yamazaki at the moment. Remember, points per minute 15 seconds per point four. We'll let the uh, we'll let the computer do the uh, the mass for us, shall we? Good jump, good jump from Hector Kapustik of Slovakia into first place. He goes just uh, edging Yamazaki, the only other athlete into the 90 meter mark. It's a half a meter shorter, but uh, a lot more wind compensation, and so. He goes in to the lead. We saw uh, Hector in the mixed team competition. We saw Skylar Amy as well from the United States, led off uh, the team in the cross country section. High skis looking for lift, but uh, that'll be a disappointment. 72 and a half meters. He's not happy at all, is he? He's a strong cross-country skier. A man from Alaska, the Alaska Winter Stars. And uh, maybe very much uh, one of those we will see breaking through. Star stars of the future. Shovkoplias uh, will be one as well. The man from Ukraine on the way. It's a little short. It's in the 70, 76 and a half meters. Only good enough for eighth place at the moment. And, uh, almost two minutes away from uh, Kapustik. Of course, some um, will come through the ranks. They've got more time than the women. They've got 10K in the cross country. A little more time to come through the field if you are stronger as a cross country skier compared to the jumping. What about Jakub Kalik? Yes. It's, uh, Kalik. it's uh, modest, it's 73 meters outside of the top 10. And we'll see how it all pans out, of course, later on. Julian Triand of uh, France uh, is next. Their uh, competition, by the way, getting underway just in the cross country, just after quarter past three. Got a win before that as well. Olympic Montour is his club. From uh, Pontalier. That's where he was born. Decent jump as well, 83 and a half meters. We'll keep him in the, uh, the top group there. Fifth place it is, but uh, a minute behind Kapustik at the moment. Good thing the team competition, of course. Some good placings in the Alpine Cup. What about Finn Kempf of uh, Switzerland from the Candlestick Club? That's a decent jump. We expected he was in the top 10 at the Youth Olympic Winter Games in Gangwon in January. Came eighth there. He's in fourth at the moment. Decent marks from the judges. Good wind compensation points for him as well. Simon Dubiel of Poland for the Zakopane Club. Didn't have the greatest trial round. 
24th for him there. It is seven and a half meters. Can he do better here? Not quite. It's in the same ballpark figure. 85 and a half meters for the Polish athlete. And into fifth he goes. The pain is, of course, there's a lot more still to come in terms of athletes waiting at the top of the ski jump. And we'll just keep going down and down. Caleb Zuckerman of the United States from the Ford K Sarah Memorial Ski Council. That's a long old name for a club. year old and an 80 meter jump he was just about in the top 10 as it stands he was down in 42nd in the uh, provisional round a couple of uh, in fact a trio of continental cup outings in the last year or so 43rd each time now then Kench Arman of Kazakhstan is next up forward and then as he gets into the in run very much hands back you see the power that was trying to generate off that uh, end of the in run the table didn't quite get it right 64 meters and that will put him at the back of the pack well we'll see how he goes in the cross country Cisla is next from Poland, from the Wisla Club. A little short and uh, aimed towards where the uh, red lines are. The K point is indicated, that's 95 metres. And uh, well, if you get there, you get your 60 points. Good wind compensation points, but uh, nothing spectacular. And he will settle into 10th place there. Eric Kapias, another very individual way of getting himself ready. Again, hands forward and then off he goes. And that's not a bad jump, very steady. 79 and a half for him. Just half a metre up on his trial run. He's down in 40th after that uh, run. Been busy. Junior World Ski Championships last year. Uh, last year came uh, 37th. Continental Cup he's been involved in as well. Arthur Tiron from the Steamboat Springs Winter Sports Club. Didn't have the greatest of jumps in practice. 76 meters before and he's improved by a meter and a half enough for 15th place Did, uh, managed to win an FIS event in uh, Lake Placid and last year but, uh, still making his way in the senior ranks Louis Martin of uh, France Saw him in that mixed team competition a couple of days ago. That's a decent jump. See two meters coming up on our screens. The Youth Olympic Games on the team competition outside of the medals, 17 individually. Andreas Griffer of Austria. What can the 17 year old do here? Well, he can do well. That's a nice jump. Not quite on the K point, but 92 meters. And that is enough to put him into top place. Knocking Kapustik 
eventually down to second, but only a 10 second time difference between him and Kapustik. That's uh, excellent from the Austrian. Okay, so Mori next up from the Tokai University in uh, Sapporo. That's a little more Mori, 78 meters for him. He was 22nd in the provisional round. He was in Lati for the Continental Cup last year. And the third is 37 and 33rd. Now then. <laughs> well, I thought I'd let our announcer get the excitement out of the way. Alias Janja of Slovenia, another home hero in the making. checking his bindings, keeping an eye on our coach. It really is raining hard now. And he was down towards the bottom, 48th in the provisional round. That's uh, better, 78 and a half metres. 15th place for him. As uh, far as he went, that's round and a half in uh, the traditional round. Ilya Jabolda of uh, Ukraine next from the Kremenetsky School. 16 years of age, not long until he's 17. And uh, he's not happy, he gets uh, 80 and a half meters. Uh, the out run is not easy. You see how slushy it is with all the rain that we've had. Conditions not brilliant, but uh, it is the same for everybody, including Brian Venturini from the Fiamigiale Club. Born in Cavalese. What a wonderful part of the world that is. And, uh, just missing out on the 80 meter mark, but not by much, 79 and a half meters. Well, he is 41st in the provisional round. I think he's going to be somewhere down there come the end of this competition. And, you know, more than halfway through it. Uh, another American now at the top, checking that bindings in Carmack at the Park City Ski and Snowball Club. Really was down towards the bottom after the trial run. A very modest jump of what, 65 meters. And he is a young man, 15 years of age. And we'll have another junior world ski championship or two to hone his skills not help the wind has turned around a little bit of aid now so in the red mark's been knocked off i see Kittivene. next one up decent jump from the 20 year old birthday for him 4th of January 84 meters that will put him in 23rd place and uh, yeah the wind has definitely turned around a little bit now nothing too terrible you can see not a massive amount of marks being taken away from him two minutes for him to make up Urban Zayak is next the man from Slovenia and noise level goes up a little bit. Managed, uh, what was that? 
83 and a half meters, but the uh, conditions aren't getting any better. Bears are the uh, order of the day, trying to keep the next skiers nice and dry. And a little wait now. We were talking about the wind turning around, the wind getting a little bit more tricky now. And the coach deciding, I'll just go away and reset the clock and make sure we've got enough time. The rain is not going to help them in the cross country. It's not particularly helping them here. The wind, of course, more of a factor. And refrigerated in run does make life a lot easier nowadays. What can Zayek do here? Here he comes. Pretty good off the table. And uh, 80 meters is decent indeed for the local competitor. He'll go. Almost two minutes behind our leader. Andreas Gerfera. Lucas Dolazal is next from the Liberec Club. Disqualified in the provisional round. That's not a bad jump though. 86 meters. Puts him down into 15th place. Still a long gap between him and our leader. Andre Wolicek is next. Takes uh, a moment to compose himself. And this is a Pane club member. See, below 80, 82 and a half. Uh, I think he wanted more than that for sure. 84 in his practice round. And uh, still, you know, 15th, but you're still a minute and a half, more than a minute and a half behind. Emily Kurtila of Finland is our next uh, man at the top. Sixteen-year-old, oh, decent distance, eighty-seven meters. The uh, gold medalist in the team competition at the Youth Olympic Games, seventh individually, missed out on a medal there. We'll be hoping that perhaps he can go a little bit better and get on the podium here, and that is enough to put him into sixth place. Spajasabek of Poland, the one from the Wisla Zakopane club. Held on nicely there. That's a useful jump. The Olympic Games was 10th, so he certainly is a man who can come through. He's going to have to come through the ranks. He's 17th after that uh, run. And that's a minute and 40 to make up, but if it's your strong suit, that is entirely possible. We will see people moving up and moving down. Ruslan Shumansky of Ukraine. The DCMP Ski Club. Okay. Few Continental Cup outings now, never higher than 31st. Taking his time, he will keep underneath that uh, dark advisor and keep an eye on what the uh, coach is telling him. Whether he 
he's happy to go, whether he feels he needs to wait. Into the red yeah, goes the uh, flock, and he decides it's not right to go. 52, of course, uh, are the uh, number of athletes we have. So we're getting through, and we, I think we'll breathe a sigh of relief getting the women's and the uh, men's Nordic combined competitors down in pretty good order. It's never a nice day on the uh, ski jumping slopes if you're on and off and waiting for the wind to calm down as you can see the mountains behind us and Poncha amongst them shrouded in mist and cloud it's still pouring with rain as we look at our top six Andreas Lefera Hector Kapustik Claire Cardo Yamazaki our top three Japan if, uh, two in the top four will be very happy with that, but we do have quite a few more to go. Toshi uh, Narita is the other Japanese athlete. We'll see in the uh, distant future. In fact, yeah, next after Shimansky. But we are paused just at the moment, trying to make sure that wind is not too strong and not too gusty. Just a reminder that once we got this out of the way, a, a short break, and then at two o'clock local time, we've got the women's 5K individual Gunderson denouement of today's race for them. And once they are done and dusted at around 3.15, we will see the end of the women, uh, the men's competition. And then, I'm sure you'd love to see it as well at 5 o'clock local time. The ski jumping for the women, the team competition gets underway. And uh, you have to fancy Slovenia's chances in that. Tina Erza and Taya Bodlaj, first and third in the individual competition a couple of uh, days ago. Wednesday, seems a, li a lifetime ago. <laughs> so we're just waiting for the conditions to get a little bit more benign. As soon as we get underway, and it's the good news is we've just had a test jumper go down. So that is a good indication that. Uh, it should be fine as long as uh, those test jumpers come down safely. The competition should be able to get underway. This is the last four jumper I heard on the radio from the jury that we will move on to the competition. The conditions are just right to move on. If you heard our announcer, he's also got a hotline to our uh, uh, officials, I think one more, one more uh, jumper, test jumper coming down, and then we should be back into this competition. Important, uh, work from these test jumpers. We do see a lot of stumbles at the bottom, it's so soft the snow down there with all the rain that is uh, happening. Okay, through the gloom, we're ready to go again, and this is Ruslan Shumansky of Ukraine. Not many to go after this. We are getting there. And that's not a bad jump, given the weight he's had, 84 and a half meters. And to the 15th place for him. Just over a minute and a half. A disadvantage for him. Only the Austrian who starts his first. Tushi Narita just limbering up, ready to go from the Hanawa High School. The 19 year old. Now 
lands an 88 meter jump. Don't even deserve this, he's 18 years old. Aging him by a year. He has done well there, fifth place. And the wind has turned around again, we're getting in the green for the wind compensation. Still on gate 18. Gillian Gutel next of Austria. In the Ski Nordic Club. Again, decent length on that one. That'll get him inside the top 10. Just 87 metres. Into ninth he goes, and that'll be there. He was 19th in the uh, provisional round. I think he'll be there, all there about. It's inside a minute, when it comes to the cross country from the Austrian. Andrea Tenorna, obviously next from the Fiamme Galley Club. Inside the top 10 in the provisional round. And that's uh, under the conditions, a decent job. He's not happy with it. 80 eight meters for him 89 and a half in the uh, provisional round but uh, that's enough for him to get into the top 10 he'll take ninth place from Gutel and uh, give himself a chance Nick Skunfeld next up of Germany Again, another one of those in contention in the provisional round. And he's certainly in contention here. 92 metres. He's a World Cup veteran. He's had a couple of World Cup starts. He's experienced, I think it's fair to say. And that will put him into fifth place. Measure that down to look at the wind compensation. Minimal compared to Kainuma, who's above him in fourth, 22.3 points he got. I know Johan Strom of Norway next from the Alta Club. Two mates cheering him on, and he repays it 94 meters. Great, great, great jump. That is the longest jump we've had so far today, but the wind compensation, look at that. Some points taken off. He was obviously getting some headwinds to help with lift. And so he is not, despite having the longest jump, top of the pile. Natalia uh, Holopainen next. Uh, promised his ski club. 16th in the uh, provisional round. And he's involved in that uh, team competition. Finland coming sixth uh, earlier in the week. Waiting, waiting, waiting. Nervous moment. I think he's almost ready to go here. And there's a lot of rain. Not easy. The visor, the vision, not brilliant. He's uh, not going to go straight away. What will he do? Uh, those are the conditions. It's, it's not great, is it? The Austrian Gefera is still top. And there are a couple within 15 seconds of him when it comes to cross country, and that is uh, Kapistik, Kapistik and uh, Yamazaki. At the moment, we've got what 13 within a minute of the leader, but we've got uh, the last 10 to come, so it could all change. Officials up there doing a sterling job trying to keep these athletes dry until the very last minute. Wonderful part of the world with lakes and mountains, of course, but the valleys. This one here, the Peninsula Valley, so beautiful. Uh, 
Southampton for Dan. Make sure all is well. Just uh, taking a little longer than we were expecting. But, so we're almost done. The officials have done a great job in difficult conditions. Still wait, just joined us, don't worry. We've not missed anything. Well, you missed quite a few jumps. We've not missed it. new one. We've still got, what, 10, 11 left to go in the men's Nordic combined competition. Cross country this afternoon, of course. But the conditions, not helpful at the moment. Another test jumper going down. From the Pine of Finland. We are waiting for him to go down, and then we're into our last uh, ten. Richard Stencil saw him uh, take a gold individually. Uh, sorry, as a team, so he can do individually. Here is Olopainen. Had to wait. Will it be worth the wait? Oh, that is okay. That's 10 meters more than he managed in the provisional rounds. And uh, that will put him into sixth place. 91 and a half meters. Again, not much wind compensation compared to some of the others. Dropping Greiber to for Germany. Over the uh, uh, club. Oh, yes, he jumped long in the uh, provisional round. He's jumped long here at 94 meters. Better than his uh, 84 and a half for sure when he was uh, testing out the conditions. And that's enough to put him into second place. Behind Andreas. Guerra, just seven seconds behind them. Herman Happenen, next up from Finland. Steady, 84 meters from the youngster. He will turn 20 tomorrow. Wish him a very happy birthday, but he's down in 21st place. Well, at least uh, some of the competition will be done and dusted by then. Richard Stencil inside the top 10 in practice. Sixth, somebody with a gold already from these world championships. And uh, just about lands it, 88 meters. <laughs> little smile come grimace. It's quite a lot of wind compensation points, 17 and a half for that. And that will help him into fourth place. Jürgen Bergetstorski. What can Storski do here? The Norwegian again jumped well, but we're we'll looking to improve on what he managed in the uh, provisional round. Now it's all counts and 87 and a half meters in these difficult conditions. Not bad. Gets quite a lot of uh, wind compensation points. Obviously, that wind has turned around a little bit more difficult to get lift. That's why they are compensated. 19.1. With wind compensation and sixth place, just 16 seconds behind the leader. That'll do. Jens Dalsleder, Vame of Norway. Lands it quite emphatically, gets quite good judges' marks for style. 
88 meters. It's good judges marked. It's got a lot of wing compensation and it's enough to put him into second place. Just five seconds behind Guerrero. Still in the lead, the Austrian. Jonas Tischbacher is next up. It's tight at the top. Top four within 10 seconds. The top seven or eight, eight is within 16 seconds. So it's going to be interesting in the cross country, certainly in very testing conditions. Here's the man from the Ramsau Club. He's underway. a decent jump that will keep him in contention 85 and a half meters into the top three in six seconds is nothing is it he'll be happy enough with that it's going to be a really interesting fight at the uh, start of that cross country with some others hoping to come through They're not quite done yet really Tom Velinka of the Czech Republic, everyone from the Duka Liverec Club. Oh, listen to his response to that. I think he's happy enough. 88 metres in the top 10. Within 30 seconds. And he's having a moment at the bottom there. He wanted better than that. Managed 93 metres in the provisional round and was the top ranked athlete. So that's why he was so upset. Norway, Senesets, is gone and through. And that's a long jump. That's a long jump. He thinks it's uh, average, but 91 and a half. Yeah, the uh, wing compensation is not really helping him too much there, so he's down in 11th, but he's only 36 seconds behind. <laughs> he's not happy at all. The man from the Hornedal Club will be in contention. He might have a bit more work to do than he would have liked. Paul Welfka of Austria, penultimate athlete down in the rain and he lands a decent jump as well a little happier with that he'll be in ninth place but again within 30 seconds of the leaders 91 meters in compensation under 10 points so the wind is, is changing around it's a bit gusty One more to go. That's uh, just how wet it is. It's just so gloomy up there. Tristan Sommerfeld will be going next. But uh, we've got a ski jumping trial jumper just to make sure everything is okay for our last jumper because the conditions are still not great. One more still to go. That's how it looks at the moment. Andreas Gzera, Hans Dasleid, Gvarne, Jonas Fischbacher. That's the top three, but uh, goodness me, the top eight within 16 seconds of each other when they start in the uh, cross country section. It should be an absolutely fascinating race. Hope you can join us a little later on for that. Well, we're so close to getting it finished and done and dusted. We've got one more to go. Did we get some of down? We did. 91 meters for him into ninth place. He goes. And so we are done. And that is the top six. And 
but uh, the Austrian taking a five second advantage over the Norwegian with uh, Fischbacher Glebert Kapustik not far behind is uh, going to go and the Austrian is going to go the four summer felt and he has gone really long 92 and a half meters and that is enough to put him into first place and that has changed everything well he wasn't supposed to be the last one down but he is and look at that goodness me he is 42 seconds ahead when it comes to cross country from the rest Paul Wachter now he will go into the cross country with such confidence after that jump and we saw Sommerfeld come down he was down to go last, but in the end, it was uh, the Austrian Paul Watcher who came through. And there we are. There is the confirmation. We were saying how tight it was going to be. But in the end, the Austrian is way out ahead. And we will wait to see whether he can keep that advantage when we come to our competition, the cross country, the 10K for the men. It will happen at uh, quarter past three local time here in Slovenia and the others well, are the mountain to climb but it will be a really tight battle as we say second through to ninth only 16 seconds between them but now Kowalczak has put uh, the cat amongst the pigeons with that jump got a lot of wind compensation and that really helped as well and that is that for the first part of the men's uh, Nordic combined. You know, the women first out on the cross country track. That's at uh, two o'clock local time. I hope you can join us for that as well. Good afternoon in prospect in the uh, Junior World Championships in the Nordic combined individual competition. But uh, well, it was the best left to last, wasn't it, Paul? Watcher in the end, the Austrian who managed to blow everybody away with 127.2 points. He was uh, second in the provisional round, has gone one better here, and that is how it has finished.